What's up guys, welcome to another video and I hope all of you are having a beautiful, lovely and peaceful, peaceful day my dear friends, full of work, love, December and for those who celebrate Christmas, a very very was Christmas incoming this month <laughs> Today, my dear friends, we're gonna look at that Arabian made. Dunger, dunger, marhaba, marhaba. <laughs> you might see the Arabic music. Yeah, it's because of this beautiful mate. It's one of the most common, common checkmates ever. It can rise in openings, rarely, but can. As examples we show, middle games and end games, my dear friends. <laughs> um, in the previous example, in the previous video, we learned about the seal mate, but now we're gonna learn about the Arabian mate. Uh, what is the Arabian mate? In the Arabian mate, the pony and the rook team up to trap the opponent opposing king on the corner of the board. The rook sits on square adjacent to the king bot to prevent escape along the diagonal and to deliver checkmate while the king sits two squares away diagonal from the king to prevent escape on the square next to the king and to protect the rookie. So usually a rook, rookie on the seventh and imagine a rook on a7 and a pony on f6 controlling g8 square and the h7 square. Um, uh, usually it's a rookie, but it can be a queen too, as, as, we, as we're going to see. In addition to being among the most common mating patterns, the Arabian mate is also an important topic in the context of chat history, uh, for being mentioned in an ancient Arabic manuscript dating from the 8th century uh, CE. Uh, it's one of the oldest, oldest uh, checkmates ever invented, my dear friends. As it says, the pony and the rookie are teaming up to deliver checkmate. Um, as we can see, the pony is controlling the g8 square and the h7 square, and the rookie is on 7th. As you said, it can be a queen too. So, uh, black wants queen, right? So, white delivers Arabic, Ar 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 Arabian mate with rook h7, my dear friends. The point is protecting the rookie and the point is controlling the escape square of the king. And this is uh, Arabian mate. Don't be feel discouraged, my dear friends. This is just the definition of Arabian mate. We're gonna see queen sacrifice, rook sacrifice, stalemate mate because of Arabic, Arabic mate. We're gonna see so much. This is just the definition, guys. <laughs> uh, pony and rookie team up, the real checkmate. In our first example, my dear friends, we have a game between um, Fine Ruben and Dake William. <laughs> um, and as, as you can see, White is down material. Uh, their piece is down, but their pieces are super proactive. Uh, so when you're down material, you should ask fast. My dear friends, for all the examples you're gonna look, I, I want you to remember one thing. When I say uh, you can pause the video, uh, think of those three hints. Checks, captures, and uh, threats. So checks, captures, and threats, my dear friends. Uh, if checks, if uh, you look at checks first and they don't work, then try to look at captures. If captures don't work, then try looking at threats. So in this position, my dear friends, um, we're running Arabian mate. So what, what what are we going to do? We need to do something. If we go point f6, this, this is the first check. Then king h7, there is nothing, right? Don't forget that there is that issues, aka back rank issues. So we cannot have spare moves. So that means we have check, 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 check. In this position, you can pause the video and find a beautiful romantic move. White played queen takes G6, sacrificing the queen, and I have no idea why the fuck, why, why the fuck Daniel was so shy to give us a brilliant. And they have to take, otherwise we just checkmate. They have to, uh, to cure queen. What you're going to do? Pony F6 in Arabian mate style. The king on go here because there's a bishop, king H8, and now what is the move? Rook H7, my dear friends. The living Arabic mate, Arabian mate, um, by sacrificing the queen to remove the defender of the H7 pound. If we do it right away, there is nothing. Come on, Daniel, love you back. So that's why we sacrifice the queen. We check. For example, if you give check first, here, here, <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing, no, baby. That is all she wrote. That is just Bruh. a back rank issues. In our next example, my dear friends, we have uh, Emil Wasker against NN. I think that meant uh, undefined player. We don't know the name of this one person. My dear friends, we are looking at uh, checks, captures, and uh, threats. So, our first check is Rook SH7, sacrificing Turkey. There is only Rook SH7. Material is even. So, we don't have to do something really, really crazy, right? My spin there. Aww. Yes, it still exists. Um, so checks does not work because it's just take, right? Um, plus take, for example, take, take, take. Um, they just go on rook g8 or something. They don't need to take the pony. So in this position, my dear friends, we see that there's a potential of Arabian mate with rook g8 and checkmate, right? But there's rookie. Uh, another Arabi Arabian mate is rook h7, but there's rookie. So we need to do something concrete. What if we decoy the, decoy the rookie protection? Taking the h7 pound, something like look take g6, my dear friends. There's point f6. You have to be careful. Um, of course, they can't take so you go look at h7. So, in this position, my defense, you can pause the video and find a romantic move. Well, in this position, white had the audacity to go queen take g6, sacrificing the queen. You might say, oh, dude, what the fuck is this move? I will take the h pound. No, you cannot because I'll take the king. I'll take the rookie. No, my dear friends, Arabian mate. Um, 
and if if you go uh, if you go um, only take c5 sacrificing the um, no, if they go here, they go queen. If they, if they change back, sacrifice in the queen here, and Arabia made my difference. Pony and rookie teaming up, and uh, in position black pet. Boy, takes e5, sacrificing the pony. Pretty protection of the queen, but in this position, white played queen. They go instead of sacrificing the rookie to clear the wise done youngly. And after take, there's queen g8. That's so she lost. After rook takes ha to kill rookie, what are you gonna do? Queen G8 sacrifice in the queen with no shame, my dear friend. Rook takes and rook takes G8 checkmate in Arabian mate style. So, my dear friend, that is why we're learning patterns. Some you will chicken chicken and you immediately saw it. Don't hate me if I say, my dear friend, please, that you will see this in the bullet game. You'll see top our pattern. When you see my YouTube shorts or my uh, tactics, my dear friends, I'm not a good player, I don't calculate, I just may play main by intuition and experience. So you see the you see the pattern Arabian made, so you just go for it. Queen takes g6, take. Uh, rook takes h7, sacrifice the rookie. Rook takes h7, queen g8, sacrifice the queen. Rook takes g8, and rook takes g8, that is all she wrote. She ain't anything anymore. Okay. And our next example, my dear friends, we have uh, John Paul against uh, Montague. Uh, this is a basic example, but just to illustrate again. Um, Arabian mate, so you can pause the video and try to solve it. Rook G8 is Arabian mate, and something on H10 will be Arabian mate too, but kind of difficult to put something there, right? <laughs> so G8 is quite critical. We need to take the rookie so we can go here. What does that mean? You can pause the video and solve it if you wish. We go Queen F6, check, my dear friends. Don't move Bishop H7, right? Because Rook G8, we go here. And I go here, now we go Queen F6, sacrificing the, uh, the Queen, deflecting the, the Rook from the. Uh, interference on the G8 square, my dear friends, take, and that is all she wrote. Checkmate in Arabic mate style, my dear friends. And now next example, my dear friends, we have, um, uh, Vifim Stains against Rainer. Um, why did the material up? Their pieces, with all due respect, are not active, so they're sleeping, kinda. <laughs> all black pieces are active, apart from the AI rookie, but something tells me it might join very, very fast. So, um... We still be, well, what are we learning today? Yes, Arabian made. So we can see that if the rookie goes here, it's checkmate. Previous example, Queen takes page 10 with deflection. And what can we do here? Here, you can pause the video and try to solve it, my dear friends. In Swedish, back out of that, you have to go Queen H for sacrificing the Queen, and that is really shy, giving us brilliant. Have to your Queen without a mouse tip over the board? No, baby. Rook G1, and that is all she wrote, my dear friends. She ain't running anymore. Shukran for the game. So after Queen H4, uh, Rainer saw that they cannot take, so they go rook g2 to protect the h2 square because it was attacked. And now again, queen takes h2, sacrificing the queen, my dear friends. Again, using the deflection of the rookie for the rookie and the river rabbit made. Rook takes h2 and rook g1 dies. That is all she wrote, Habibi. And our next example, my dear friends, we have Aaron Nimzwich, the legend. Uh, my dear friends, a book that you should read is Aaron Nimzwich, my system. My biggest chess uh, career mistake was not to read this book. I, I, when I was young and beautiful, I said, Ha! Why should I read old books? I can read new books and run. And when I quit chess, I, I always, always, when I when thinking about my biggest mistake was that I didn't read old books. I didn't read the classics much because I always thought they're old, old books and I want to learn as new ones. But that was a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake. And that's why I suck chess. <laughs> so, I'm um, Nunevich against August Gide. Black Wasp moves point f4, my dear friends. White is material up, but this guy's king and king's kinda smothered. Smart, smart. Um, we're running Arabic main, Ar Arabian main, right? So, what can we see? Point f6, what can we do? Remember, uh, checks, captures, and threats, my dear friends. <laughs> so, in this position, um, one check is queen h6, one check is point f6, and queen f5. Um, our queen is attacked, so we need to act, act fast. Um, if you go point F6, they just take, right? And there's nothing else. But there's something else that you, you can pause the video and try to solve it if you wish. In this position, why had the dart? You have to go queen, thank you, she's sacrificing the queen, my dear friends. Because the F6 square is critical. If you go right away, you resign with shame. Uh, because uh, there's nothing. So you need to go queen, thank you, she's deflecting the protection of the F6 square, my dear friend. And then they, they have to take, if they go here, there's point F6 here. Uh, and Jack made my dear friends, because the points control is escape square. So they have to take the queen, <laughs> to kill queen, they ball, they have six check, my dear friends. And in an Arabian made style, uh, Rook J is delivering the checkmate. You might be an incredible, incredible player, but if you have never ever 
run the Raven Man, you might not see the pattern. With Queen takes h6, Rook pawn f6, and Rook j8. Okay, I love you back, Danny. So that's why patterns are super duper vital. Knowing your checkmate patterns are vital, my dear friends. That is why I watched this master once said, chess is 99% tactics. And now, my dear friends, we have a surprise. Um, a surprise question, and like every video, I ask a surprise question for you. Look at the view, it's beautiful. Um, our today's question is, uh, what is the biggest point in our solar system? And our next example, my dear friends, uh, is between Edward Holt and Ted Binga Bingamon. You might say, oh, this is starting position, oh, fix it, baby. No, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to show you that Arabian men can occur as in end games and middle games, but as well as in openings. But uh, with the idea, that with the flex, that the king is not stuck in the corner. Uh, white went e4, e5, pawn f3, pawn f6, uh, bishop c4, Italian, game, pawn f6, d4, take, take, castle, pawn takes a4, rook e1, d5, pawn takes d4, <clears throat> I missed by Danny, uh, queen h4, uh, we don't mind, we're just trying to focus on the Arabian make, uh, g3, queen f6, pawn h3, bishop g4, pawn d2, pawn e4, it's blunder. You can pause the video and try to realize why it's the blunder, my dear friend, because um, it looks like a natural <laughs> move to you can't take this guy because I'll, take, because I'll take your queen and you put more pressure on this guy. So, in this position, my dear friends, I remember mate. You might say, oh, duh, witty. Like, I know you suck, but that much, how the fuck is there going to be a rabia mate? Pony and Ruki co combined can do a rabia mate even in the tender of the board. So, in this position, White had all that to go pony takes it for sacrificing everything, my dear Bruh. friends. The pony and uh, threatening a big, big discovery attack. Pony takes safety, that is check, right? So, you cannot take the queen because I'll take your king. But you go, look, queen takes f3, sacrificing the queen. Haha, <laughs> I'm just queen of what you're gonna do. Pony f6, the most deadly thing in chess is double check. Because once you're a double check, you should always, always move the king. You cannot cover because you're checked by two pieces. You can um, take that piece because you're checked by two pieces. And king d8 is the only move. Got the points control in the square. Uh, king d8 and d8. In Arabian mate style, that is all she wrote for BB. She ain't rank anymore. In our next example, my dear friends, we have David uh, Janowski against uh, uh, Gunsenberg. <laughs> White has played a uh, natural move, rook d6, attack the queen, right? Um, just know that examples are getting more and more complicated. If you're an advanced player, if you're an experienced chess player, you know that you see the rook, the rook on 7. You see that point can jump on f3. Remember the queen takes h6, uh, sacrifice to free the pony and then rook g8? Yes, my dear friends, you can use the same thing here too. So, checks, captures, and threads. We have pony f3 check, rook takes g2 check, that's it. And threads, we can do some threads because we don't have, um, we're not getting made it. You can pause the video and try to, to find two romantic brilliance by black. In this vision, what had black had all that, you have to go pony f3 sacrificing the pony, my dear friends, we check. If they take, my dear friends, then we go queen takes h3 and there is no defense of queen h2. For example, queen d5 check, king h8, queen e5 to protect this pawn, then we just go rook f8, and the king cannot survive. Even though white has a move, but they cannot do anything. For example, rook f1 to protect, then we just go rook e2. Uh, and if they go to take, then we checkmate. If they go rook e2 to protect this guy, then we go at the s3. And rook e2 is a threat now. They just don't defense. Uh, trust me, I would have never seen pawn f3 here. Just because take, take, and queen e5 would have quit me. Uh, queen e5 is brilliant because if you can't take that issues, right? AK back on issues. It's, it's an amazing move. Um, so, if they go here, then... So, yeah. King king goes on h1. And it seems like White has, Black has no more checks, right? And they have two pieces hanging. But in in the midst of chaos, Black had all that. They hope to do Arabian man. Queen, 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 <laughs> they take sacrifice in the queen, my dear friends, to free the rookie on the h2 square. Here and rook h2, that is all she wrote. She is not writing anymore. I love you, Baghdadi. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Arabian mate, my dear friends. You see, we started uh, the intro with a simple rook h7 checkmate, but now we are showing how you can enforce it with beautiful romantic sacrifice. This is just so romantic, my dear friends. And now, next example, my dear friends, we have uh, Vasilius Kotronias against uh, Vallejo. Vallejo Pons. Black had played uh, the same natural move rook d1, directing checkmate in one. What are we doing, my dear friends? Uh, Black is a pawn up, but this is super active, my dear friends. Even king, king tag! <laughs> um, Black rookies are super active too, this is protecting, and king is uh, vulnerable. Checks, captures, and threats. 
checks if not then captures if not then threats and power the view and you can solve the puzzle among your friends in this position uh let's see who's played beautiful romantic move uruk x7 chakra fires in the rook you might say oh duh i just take the rook what you gonna do arabic made my dear friend pony f6 check uh, king h8 and that is also your bb gg to crown for the game beautiful so don't play my dear friends pony f6 with the same ideas because that is all she wrote call the ambulance but not for me <laughs> beautiful that's why when, when you say uh checks captures and threats because checks are the most for forceful captures are more forceful and threats are the least forceful but still forcing because you're threatening something and now next example my dear friends we have the first raven check the legend oh my god this guy is just amazing his sense of humor his love for the game his games amazing against uh, Levon Aronian, Levon, a legend 2, very nice guy, very uh, funny guy, and very, very incredible, incredible strong chess player. When, I, when I asked Mouse Carlson who is your toughest opponent to play, Mouse Carlson most of the times mentions Levon Aronian and Alexander Grischuk and of course Fabian Kaurana. Um, Black Hat played E5, my your friends, trying to open some lines and do some good team stuff. Here, um, you see that our rooks on seven are super active and the pony. Still, if you give black time, they might do some counter play against our king. So, we are studying Arabian mate! You can pause the video and try to solve a beautiful, beautiful two brilliance by way. Inspiration, the city even took Chucky or Chucky had the dust, you have to go BODY SHIT SACRIFICING the pony. You might say, oh, what the fuck is this more? Just take the pony, haha. <laughs> check this guy, check this guy here, and rook B, G7 is checking, my dear friends. So, uh, mates on 7, so, and you're attacking the rookie, right? So here, one played E takes F4, trying to create some counter play after pointing takes F7, then F3, for example, take here, here, then you go pointing takes B3, King H3, then you go point C5, and even though white is still winning, but super duper difficult. Uh, but here, we're, uh, Chucky found the tactical pattern Arabia mate, so here, he played Rook takes F7, sacrificing the rookie! Because after rook takes f7, of course we don't take, but we go rook b8 check! And the points control the g7 escape square rook f8, and that is all she wrote. In Arabian mate style, um, let go checkmate, my dear friends. <laughs> very beautiful. You see how those, this is a very common checkmate. People keep doing it even in top GM level. Now, our last example, my dear friends, we have uh, the game between Vladimir Gramnik um, and Boris Gelfman. Um, yeah, and about Gramnik drama, guys, I'm just gonna say a few things. I respect Gramnik as a world, former world champion. I respect his chess. I respect everything uh, he did for chess. As I, I the solution that he opened for cheaters in TT that Tuesday. That some people cheat, and I absolutely agree that it's very difficult to catch smart cheaters. Like I, I make a rants every single day in our, in our stream uh, in Twitch, my dear friends, and there is a lot of cheaters, especially when we do big press arena or BBA, uh, smart cheaters are very difficult to catch. Um, what I don't like is the way he's handling the situation with Hikaru, because I think he, he absolutely knows Hikaru is not cheating, this is just pure enviness uh, against him. Um, but is very, Big Quad is a very smart guy, he knows Hikaru is not a cheater. Hikaru has been proving himself uh, his whole test career by playing over the board, by playing with friends in the hotel room, by being absolute genius in Blitz and Bullet. So, with all due respect, do better. Uh, in this very interesting position, my dear friends, Gramnik is material up, but it won't last long. It change up, but it won't last long because King is weak and Pony might take. It's a complicated position, of course, Black is winning. But in this position, Big Blood uh, found a very, very beautiful romantic sacrifice, my dear friends, exploring the classical pattern. Arabia made! You can pause the video and try to solve it. It's, just know it's a complicated one. So, in this position, Black had a dust, you have to go. Oh, is it three clean and sacrifice, my dear friend? You might say, oh, dude, what the fuck is this move? I can't take with the pawn because you check me, right? If you take with the bishop, then you just go DTC3 and that's all she wrote. Because you just take and then you uh, uh, discover you happen. So you cannot take the point, right? So Boris Kelfon, uh, a, uh, a legend I admire so much and respect, played the point is D4, uh, Freak D4 king. But here, Big Bad saw this and played. Group takes me to sacrifice in the queen. I have no idea why Dan didn't give him a brilliant because it's the only move not to stay in the game actually and win the game. If they take uh, the queen, then that is checkmate. Arabian may style. Uh, if they take, of course, what calculate this? They have to take right. There's nothing else. Here, what 
Red builds from Hunting Move, Queen A2, sacrificing the Queen, just like the previous examples, freeing the rookie uh, path to checkmate on the B1 square, my dear friends. Rook takes B1, and that is a machine This is one of the most beautiful games ever, and I see good grabbing for that, because he sacrificed so many pieces. That's why you sacrifice a pony, then you sacrifice a rookie, then you sacrifice a queen! You just kick it, just cannot stop sacrificing. Absolutely fantastic. This is the river I have made, my dear friends. Oh, actually, I forgot to give you a puzzle at the end. No! I'm sorry. Next, next, next uh, part seven, there will go, there's going to be a puzzle, my dear friends, for you. <laughs> but this was the video, my dear friends. There were more examples, but I, I just want to make sure, guys, that you, um, um, that you understand the pattern. And because it's super duper common, my dear friend, if I were you, I would have closed this YouTube video, my dear friend. Open chess.com or early chess, whatever your heart desires, and go do some Arabian checkmates. <laughs> I hope you guys this video was worth it. You enjoyed it, you loved it. Um, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to wash your hands, play peace, love, and happiness. Thanks so much for watching, my dear friend. Uh, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye bye.